Alright, what's going on everybody? We're going to do a little hip mobility here together. I'm going on the road tomorrow to play some golf and my hips are a little bit tight and I don't want them to be tight when I get there. So this is kind of, let's just get them going, get ahead of the game so I can be in good shape tomorrow. Now, whenever we're doing hip mobility, when we're trying to open the hip, really how we're able to kind of, you know, crack the code if you will, is we have to follow a pattern. The first thing we have to do is get our butt active. It has to squeeze. The reason for that is we're going to use the contraction of our butt to unlock and loosen the other muscles surrounding our hips that are tight. And once those are unlocked, we can use those to get to other places and it kind of compounds, but our butt is the first thing, which is why we typically start a hip mobility with glute activation. So we're just going to lay down. We're going to make sure that our shoulder blades are under. We're going to take our hands, put them on the ground with our palms down underneath our butt. And we're just going to spend some time turning your butt on. So if you're watching this live right now, go ahead and follow along. If you're watching on the replay, I still want you to follow along. We're going to do this all in real time. So go ahead, get situated. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get them fired up. We're going to squeeze both your butt cheeks at the same time, nice and hard. And you should feel both your hands getting pressed down into the floor. And then relax them. Turn them on. And off. On. And off. Turn them on. Squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Big breath. And now as you relax, try to relax them as slowly as you po can possibly can. Really slowly let it go. Some of you might find that you can't go smoothly. They just kind of turn off all of a sudden. That's fine. We're building that. We're building the ability to go smooth. One more time. Squeeze them both as hard as you can. Now as you're squeezing, I want you to take your heels and press them down through the floor. And you're going to find that the whole back and maybe sides of your legs are fired up. Your butt is squeezing even harder. And you're pushing through with your heels while squeezing your butt. And then relax as slowly as you can. Take your time. As slowly as you can. One more time. Big squeeze of the butt. Squeeze your butt as hard as you can. 10 out of 10. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. And now press your heels down at the same time. Don't let your butt turn off. Make sure you're breathing. If you feel like your legs are about to cramp, breathe harder. Get some oxygen going. As you relax, go slow, as slow as you can. Perfect. Now, squeeze just your right cheek. And relax. Squeeze just your left cheek. Relax. Right on, right off, left on, left off, both on, both off, right on, both on, right off, left off, right on, both on, right off, both off, left on, both on, left off, both off, left on, both on, left off, both off. Now as you're going through that, some of you might find that you have a hard time turning just one cheek off if they've both been squeezed. And again, that's normal, and we're building the ability to do that, okay? And right now, your brain has a hard time sending that signal to your butt to do what we're trying to make it do. But over time, if we make a conscious effort to do it, even if it doesn't happen, but we're sending that signal, eventually the road will get built and then we can communicate down it and that's what we're doing now let's go ahead and bend at the knees so we're about 90 degrees and i want your feet about 
shoulder width apart and your knees are going to stay the same distance apart that your feet are. Arms can go by the side if that's comfortable. They can also go on your chest or under your head. But what we're going to do is very slowly, we're going to lift our toes off the ground and push through our heels and raise our butt as high as we can and then hold. Again, keep your knees still. Don't let them come in. Don't let them go out. They're going to stay perfectly still the whole time. Try not to rely on your hands for balance. They're just here because it's comfortable. And then we go down. We go down slowly. And back up. Making sure that it's your butt squeezing that's doing the lifting. And down. Squeeze both. Lift up. And back down. Now we're going to go feet together. Same thing. Press through the heels. Raise your hips high. Squeeze. Hold. And then lower. One more. And down. And now, keep your knees touching, stick one leg out, and we're gonna raise our hips, making sure that our hips stay level. If we imagined a rod coming out, we don't want it to be uneven. You can test this by putting your thumbs by your side, and then as you raise up, they should remain the same. Don't let them droop. And back down. Now, if you find that this causes you to cramp, go back to having two feet on the ground. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. Very important to breathe. Switch sides. One more. All right. So now our butt is really fired up. It's super active right now. We're going to use that. We're going to be able to unlock our hip flexors because our butt has been turned on. So I'm going to show you a variation of a hip flexor stretch. Uh, if you've seen a Samson stretch before or the couch stretch progression, it's the same concept, but it's done a little bit differently. We don't need any equipment. We can do it straight on the floor. So what I'm going to have you do is to get on your hands and knees. And mind you, this is going to require some balance. So just be mindful of that. You don't want to be somewhere that you might fall around. Or if you are, just make sure that you can catch yourself. So we're on our hands and knees. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring our left leg out front. Now, at this point alone, this might be a difficult stretch for you. So if that's the case, we're just going to hang out here and we're going to breathe. And while we're doing that, you can take your left foot and press it down into the floor. And when you do that, you're going to feel the muscles in the back of your leg. You might feel them elsewhere. You might feel it deep in the hip, but they're going to start to fire up. So if you hang out here while actively pressing for about five seconds and then relaxing for five seconds on and off you know over time this position will improve and if this is okay for you we're going to go to the next step and the next step is to take your back leg and pivot it out okay so it started 12 and 6 and now it's maybe 11 and 5 right from here we're going to come up now what you can do to start is don't come up all the way, but come about here and you can hold onto your leg or something for assistance. And what we're going to do is we're going to pelvic tilt. So if you watch my pelvis, right now my back is arched, my tailbone is sticking up, and then here's the tilt or the tuck. I'm trying to tuck underneath like my belt buckle is trying to go up into my belly button. We want to be here. And typically it's easier to get here if you're a little bit rounded. So you bring your chest down tuck, 
once you're there, squeeze your button, it locks it in. And we gotta keep that butt squeezed. And now you can raise your chest. At this point, you're probably feeling a big stretch down the front of your leg. That's what we want. If it feels like it's about to cramp, breathe through it. I promise you it's, it's better on the other side. Now, chest is tall. We're gonna stick both our arms out in front of us. We're gonna pull our fingers back towards our face and then externally rotate our hands. So your right thumb will go clockwise, your left thumb will go counterclockwise. Hands out, fingers back, rotate. Now here, your left arm is gonna go up. Okay, so your right arm is out, your left leg is out. Now, pull your fingers back and push your hands away from you. So pushing your hands away from you, this is intensifying the stretch. Push your palms away, pull your fingers back, keep twisting them, and at the same time, you're tucking your hips, and you're pressing your foot into the floor, and you're squeezing your butt. There's a lot going on here. But this is a really, really good stretch for your psoas, one of your hip flexor muscles. We're pressing our palms, pulling our fingers, tucking our pelvis, squeezing our butt, staying as tall as we can. We're hanging out here for at least a minute. We're breathing. The more intense it gets, the more you should breathe. Feel it deep in the hip, and then relax. Bring your chest down, pivot your leg in. Oh, ha, ha, ha. come out of it, it feels amazing. Just wait until you stand up, okay? We're gonna take just a minute here, kind of rock around, get that hip open, let it, okay, settle in. And now we need to do the other side. Same thing, hands and knees, this time, right leg comes out. Or if you started with your right leg, do the other leg. Now again, if this is enough, just hang out here. You're just kind of pivoting around, you're pressing your foot into the ground, you're letting this hip open. Now, chances are good, it's more open now than it was before because of what we just did. So our next step is take this back leg and pivot. Okay, so in this case, we're looking like one and seven on the clock. Now we're gonna bring ourselves up a little bit. We're going to tuck, squeeze, lock it in, and then come up. And as we do that, we're gonna feel a big stretch. That's great. Hands out, fingers back, turn the thumbs. Let, I'm sorry, this time right arm up, left arm out. It should be opposite arm and leg in front of you. Now, push. Push your palms away from you. Your right palm goes up, your left palm goes out. You're pulling your fingers back. You're tucking, tucking your pelvis. You're squeezing your butt. You're breathing. The more you twist to the right within reason, the harder it's going to be. Twisting to the left, you lose a little bit of that stretch. So try to stay straight forward. Keep pressing, keep pulling, keep tucking, keep squeezing, keep breathing. feels hard, it's because it is hard, but it's worth it. Just a little longer. And relax. Come out of it slowly. Oh, get that hip open. And there you have it. We activated our butt. We used that active butt to open up the front of our hips. And now our hips are gonna be much more mobile and we're going to feel a lot better throughout the day and we're gonna have a lot more balance and power in our golf swing. That's right, move better, play better, always.